Hey, hi everyone. So in this video, we'll just see how to reverse a string. So we'll just solve that question, and then uh, uh, in interview, they will ask this question in across in all platforms. Okay. So even if you are a beginner developer, you should know how to code it in Linux and then Python as well. So it will be useful for you. We'll just see how to code in uh, GDE. So before that, I will just plan the design accordingly. So here, if you see the input string, okay. So the string is ab initio. We are going to reverse the string. So this is like row level single transformation data transformation. So you can plan the design accordingly, okay. So here I'm going for the reformat component. So I'm just going to code it here right down here, okay. So normally like you can put the reformat uh, template. So here, yeah, okay. So here, I'll be like stuffing up the code. So the code would be, so the method I'm going to use here is a while loop. And then I'll be using the uh, string concat strategy. And then I'll be using string substring technique. Okay, so this is my method. A technique so this will be useful so you can just code you can just start coding here okay so I'll be like uh, putting the code up here so you can just stuff up here and then you can run the uh, entire code in your GD so we'll just see the before that we we'll just uh, assign a temporary variable here so uh, I'll be assigning int i so I'll be taking out a length of this name so consider the uh, consider string as this name okay name field so i'll be taking the length here so that would be so eight so total length of this up initial character so now i'm just declaring an empty string okay so like remit as a concatenet i'm just uh, uh, putting c o and c that's it so empty string i've declared the empty string here so for your reference i'm just coding it a uh, comment here so these are comment okay so we'll just start our while loop just rename it to the yeah okay while loop and then here we have declared the i variable so it should be greater than zero and then uh, we have so whenever we start the loop make sure you properly enclose with begin and end okay yeah so here inside you can see you can take the empty string concatenate so i'm doing string concat so my empty string is conc and then I'll be accessing the, uh, the substring of this uh, uh, string, given string. So the loop, the entire i variable has started from the length of k, so 8. So here the length is 8. So we can see I'm putting the data here and then i and then 1. Okay. So normally, like this is a initio string. And then I would be eighth, okay, eighth character. I'll be taking a one character from it, okay. So eighth index, and then I'll be taking one character. So that would be here O, okay. So O will be like added to the conc variable. So here. So similarly, like if you go from reverse, O I T I N I B A. So this everything will be get appended to the conc variable. So and then this is the and this is the core line. So important code, I'll just highlight it for you. Okay. So now we'll just, uh, we have to reverse the loop, right? So we are going to decrement the loop. I minus one. Okay. So the loop is, that's it. Like uh, we can exit from the loop. So conc is variable, conc variable is ready. Now we are going to just print. Okay. So now, you can just print that's it so this is the entire code for the reformat uh, component 
into reverse string. You can practice this in your GD and just let me know if it works in the comments below. We'll just go for the Linux uh, shell scripting now. The same uh, concept. Here we can just finish it off with one single line. So using the opt tool, uh, I'll just code it for you right, right now. So echo. I'll just pause it to the opt using pipe. So here I'm just pausing to the passing the administration string to the arc function. So here um, I'll be using a, a length variable, built-in variable. So here uh, I, I'm accessing the uh, total length of the string. So same condition i greater than zero and i minus minus decrementing. So here, so this this length is an inbuilt variable available in arc. And then we are going to access now. We are going to access so. This loop is fine. Now we are going to access the substring. So, so here substring is so accessing the input string. Input string is dollar zero, and then i would be i would be like total here like i is equal to eight will be there. Okay, total up initial length. So i will be there. So i is eight, and then one. Okay, so same same uh, concept. And then we have can after the loop ends we can print x. You can make sure you close the apostrophe. So this single line uh, will be like will be used to reverse a string, abnormal string. So so this is the main uh, this is the main line. Okay, I'm just highlighting for you. It's a main core function in the arc arc tool. So this is a uh, this, this is the way you can code it in the shell scripting. So uh, they'll be like checking you in the uh, Linux uh, skill as well. So not only about Abunishio, uh, in uh, addition to Abunishio, they'll be testing your uh, Linux skill. And then uh, uh, like uh, after after going through this uh, Linux skill, you can uh, upgrade yourself in Python as well. So Python uh, you can directly uh, refer from the Google or there. Like I can use uh, ChatGPT as well. Uh, the code would be simple. In Python is easy as well. So I'm just coding quickly for you now. So string, I'm just declaring a string now. Okay. So I'm just uh, declaring a uh, empty string as well for you. And then here you can use for care. So reverse string equal to care plus reverse string so it will get up under print yeah so the technique here is like you are pausing a bunch of string and then you are accessing carrot each cat in the string and then it will be up under okay a will be up under here uh, for in first run for in first run a will be up under to the reverse string and then um, uh, after that, another character, okay, second character will be get up under, okay. So it will be like B A, and then uh, third character I, and then fourth character like this, I, I, and then T, and then I, and then O. So we have we have got a reverse string as well here. Yeah. So this is how you can code in Python as well. So uh, if you are applying for a Abunisha interview, if you are a three plus or four plus years experience, make sure you uh, give the proper code, Linux Bash scripting code, and then uh, uh, your Abunisha GD uh, design and then code as well. So they will be asking you to print the core line in the chat window. So make sure you give that and practice with. And then if you have other set of questions with, for which you need a solution, uh, please uh, mail to this uh, mail ID. May drop your questions to this mail ID. Uh, we'll just collect that and then uh, we'll just solve it for you. And then when the time comes, we'll just upload it here. So in our channel. So uh, till then, like uh, bye bye. We'll just see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.